Well, welcome to the Empowering Word. I'm Pastor Ken Brown. I'm so thankful that you join me again this week. Uh, we are continuing, actually this week, finishing uh, our teaching series through the Beatitudes, the teaching of Jesus, his Sermon on the Mount. And uh, this is a, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, this might be a little bit of a difficult uh, passage for some of us um, to really kind of get our, 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 our heads around. But, but I'm, I'm telling you that there is an encouragement for you today in what you're going through. And so without too much fanfare, let's get into this message again. Let's, let's delve deep and allow the Holy Spirit to minister to our hearts today through the word. Let's begin. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Friends, this is a, this can be a bit of a, of a, of a shocking uh, turn of phrase here. I mean, who, who would in their right mind think that it would be blessed of them to be persecuted? That, that you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, but, but there, there are these 12 that sat around Jesus. And, 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 and other than Judas uh, Iscariot, uh, those young men lived their lives in such a way that they were persecuted for the name of Jesus, for the work of Jesus, for being his disciples. And, and all but one was martyred. Was, they were crucified and, and beaten and stoned and, 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 and they, they in, endured hardship for the name and the person of Jesus. And so th there is a prophetic declaration that's happening here. But there's also a, a dynamic in which Jesus is saying, blessed are the persecuted because of righteousness. Now listen, there's ways to be persecuted and not be righteous. You can be persecuted for, for all sorts of different things. You can be persecuted because you just have a bad attitude. Friends, this is not the kind of persecution we're talking about. And this is not the kind of persecution like nobody likes me. That's not the kind of persecution we're talking about. I'm talking about the fact that when you take a stand, when you stand, when you, when you, when you have been filled with the righteousness of God, when you are acting in merciful fashion, when you have a purity of heart, when you have a singular mindset, when you're a peacemaker, According to the scriptures, when you're operating as a son or a daughter of the living God and people revile you for it because they hate the person of Jesus. Friends, that is a demonic spirit. The, 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 the dynamic of anti-Christ is in the world. But oh, friends, fear not. Fear not. Jesus said, fear not, for I have overcome the world. And he declares, even now, he says, for those that are persecuted, that are falsely accused, that all kinds of evil are spoken against you, friends, great is your reward. He's again speaking in the present tense that the kingdom of God is yours. The kingdom of God, because there is a, 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 a revelation that righteousness has come. See, we hunger and we thirst for righteousness, but guess what comes when righteousness dwells in us? When we are finally filled with righteousness, persecution is going to come. Because this world is in enmity with God. Although we are peacemakers, we're not peacekeepers. We declare the kingdom with great boldness. We declare the good news of the gospel of the kingdom. We declare the death and resurrection of Jesus until his return. But we also share in the sufferings of Christ. See, friends, you know, Jesus even said, he says, listen, if you strike the shepherd, the sheep will flee. 
if the, if the teacher undergoes, if the master, if the rabbi is, is led to slaughter, if he is killed, what about the students? Friends, if we are disciples, if we are followers of Jesus, why on earth should we expect to be treated any differently than he was? See, see, this is the call of discipleship. Jesus says, if you want to be my disciple, deny yourself, take up your cross and follow me. Friends, someone that has taken up their cross has already said goodbye to their old life, has already made the rounds telling their family how much they love them and how much they're going to miss them and how much they're going to miss their old life. But at the end of the day, they turn and they take on the road and they take up their cross and they begin to face the place where they are going to have to die to themselves to live for him. Friends, we need to stop thinking in terms of our temporal happiness because temporal happiness is fleeting. You know, it's, it's retail therapy. I got a new whatever, name whatever it is. I got a new phone. I got a new whatever. I got a new widget. I got whatever the latest and greatest is. And you know what? Tomorrow there's a new latest and greatest with, a, with another set of benefits and features that are better than what I have. And my happiness goes away. Why? Because my hope and my happiness is based in a temporal existence and a temporal thing. When really our gladness, our joy should be relative to our relationship with heaven. For yours is the kingdom of heaven. When our thoughts and our minds and our, and our wills are devoted to the things of eternal things. For that's what Jesus says. He says, don't lay up treasure here where moth and rust destroy, but rather lay up your treasure in heaven. Where, where those things can't touch it where that which is spoken against you has no effect. Friends, great is your reward in heaven. Let us live, see, an empowered life, empowered by the kingdom, a kingdom lifestyle. It lives by faith. It lives within the, 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 the atmosphere of heaven. It lives in the place that says, it doesn't matter what happens here on the earth. What matters is my reward in heaven. I'm going to preach the gospel full of grace, full of truth, full of mercy, full of peace. And I'm going to do it in spite of what may come my way. Why? Because I've experienced it. Great mercy has been poured out upon me. Great righteousness has been poured out for me. Listen, if they killed the prophets of old, what do you think is going to happen to you? But don't be discouraged. Take joy in it. Great is your reward. See, we, we forget sometimes that there is a reward for our obedience. There is a reward for trusting. And it's all found throughout this entire thing that what will we receive? Well, let's go back and read it. Yours is the kingdom of heaven. You will be comforted. You will inherit the earth. You will be filled. You will be shown mercy. You will see God. You will be considered and called the children of the Most High God. And yours is the kingdom because you're persecuted for righteousness sake as you move out by faith. See, righteousness is by faith. The righteous will live by faith as you establish faith in the person of Jesus. This world has nothing on you. It's, a, it's as Paul wrote and he says, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Friends, I want you to live empowered by this word today. I want you to live empowered by the Holy Spirit to face the trial that you're facing right now. For I'm telling you that the dynamic of this trial, that God works his best work, his best work when the odds are stacked against you. Friends, I'm telling you, put your faith and your trust in who he is and who he's declared himself to be and who he has shown himself faithful to be generation to generation to generation to generation. And in your life, 
I'm telling you right now that God will show himself strong. You don't have to vindicate yourself. God will vindicate all things. And friends, if it's not in this day, in this hour, in this time, all things will be revealed when Jesus returns. Friends, no matter what, God will set things straight. He will set the record straight. He is a God of great justice, a God of great mercy. And friends, count it joy. Count it joy when you face persecutions of any kind. Because you are reflecting the very nature of Jesus. As always, live, live, live empowered by the Word.